a warrior beyond Goku. Well, he said Cell was better, so isn't Cell that warrior behind Goku already? Nah, nah, we know what they really mean. You're a conceited child, full of nothing but fantasy. You might be lucky, however, because you'll probably be dead well before you discover fear. Gohan doesn't have any moves, but he no longer has the Masenko. For one. I guess this does fit the anime. Gohan was getting beat up to start this fight with Cell. Now I want to call him Conceited Child, I and mean, Goku is the one who said. He will lose, not uh, sell. Take that. Oh, what's his other move? Oh, instant kill quick. There we go. Now we've seen all of Gohan's moves. Well. All but one. Come on, I knew you can do it. Tell me how it's supposed to be blue. There's only one character who uses it and it's actually blue. For everyone else it's the generic yellow blast. this this senseless fighting is useless I don't I don't want to fight anymore I hate killing as much as I hate you I'm starting to understand why dad said that only I could defeat cell is not a amused child, I had trouble controlling my temper whenever I get angry I get in fights and I have no control over my powers and I never stop until the other person is incapable of fighting back that's why. That's why Dad wanted me to fight him. That was a very nice monologue. But you don't expect me to be scared, after all. You are only a child. And just maybe your little speech has inspired me to anger you. I guess you aren't that familiar with the fight against Raditz? Or how angry Gohan could get at Namek? While trying to infuriate Gohan, Cell delivers a devastating blow to Android 16, and the Cell Juniors join in the fight too. Stop! Stop it! Stop the fighting! Gohan! Huh? Was that you? There is nothing wrong with fighting to bring about peace. Don't you mean nothing, not noting? Breathe your spirit as your anger rises. I, I know how you feel, but you can't hold back any longer. Give your big mouth a rest, you factory recall. <laughs> And that was the last of all. I'm totally anticlimactic with this fast paced music. Gohan explodes. Now you're back to proper capitalization with two exclamation points. I can't hold it back. You guys are dead. <laughs> Cell so Jr. is laughing, but you could tell he is back in the way. We have Gohan's full powers released at Super Saiyan 2. And he has no moves, he just has a higher tier transformation. Now we gotta take out seven of these little bastards. Ow. 
But it not be hitting me that hard at the start. Or she can get in a little bit of a charge in between them. Jackhammer. Take that. I said, take that. Ow. How'd you hit me? I was doing my throw. What is your regular Gohan against these little guys? I mean, that's supposed to be half power comparable to Cell. Oh man, I can't destroy them just the same. There we go. Well, they should have gave us a, they take even more damage. Or have even less health, something. Because Goku made them all explode with one hit each. Ow. I know you're over here. I'm coming for you. Just like the boss of Sex of Y, I'm coming for you. Look at that. That's at least 70% of his health right there. The last one. I no, could use more of his lightning effect. And, I mean, this is an HD version. There's no excuse for that. Nothing to it. I don't think you could ever stand cell, Gohan. You seem quite confident for a toddler. Do you actually think you stand a chance against me? Baby? No question about it. I don't yawn yet, we're in the middle of the true battle. Yeah, Cell is too overconfident. He still doesn't think he can lose. We're just going to have to show him how outmatched he really is. Well, that's insult to injury. There you go. Revert him back. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going, Mr. Perfect? What was that? <laughs> I do my throw, the world just stops, and then he just punches my head down. <laughs> there you go. I ain't going down that easily. Come on, that should have knocked you down. Same way I just got knocked down. That's what I'm talking about. You couldn't defeat me after all. What you wiping away? There's nothing there. This, this can't be. It's ridiculous. You're a child. I won't be beaten by a kid. And you're just a bug. Oh yeah, mixed blood. Pretty much half Saiyans. That's 18. He just spit out 18. 
You know, someone who's had no lines of dialogue so far in the story. He's transforming back to his previous form. I cannot accept this. It's not true. What? Oh no. <laughs> oh, that was so ridiculous what the Adam Boy sound like. I'll be gone forever, but I'm taking you and this entire planet with me! <laughs> Come on now, you took one of the most intense dramatic moments and you put Mega Man X music on top of it. Or remix Mega Man X music. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Now, is this, see, this music so unfitting for a villain's great return. My body can continue to regenerate. And I nice benefit of this most recent rebirth. Thanks to the Saiyan cells in me, I grow stronger after every near fatal injury. Because unlike Gohan, you're actually showing the lightning bolts. Why can't I have that in my aura? Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Hmm. Isn't that good? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> sure, good enough to avenge my dad. But I'm sure he'd rather be here taking care of you himself. I doubt you know what you're up against this round, little man. Little maybe, but much more than man. Okay, the Super Kamehameha. Here's the thing, I was never able to pull this off when I first played the game. In fact, I found this fight to be hard as hell. You know, it's funny, I let my friend play this game. And he started out right on this fight, he just wanted to see it at the very end. And not only did he beat Cell on his first try, he also pulled off the Super Kamehameha. Something that I can almost never do normally. And somebody is not lucky to see on this attempt. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, ow! I took off almost my entire he health bar. Well, okay, I was worried it was gonna count on me with a hit right there. <laughs> I, I promise you this isn't over! <laughs> That's all you gotta say, Trunks. Uh, no. And you became so much more than that. No. My only son. 
Well, he ain't really your son. I mean, your actual, actual son is sort of alive in his timeline. Stay out of my way, Vegeta! I'll end the suspense if you wish. Very soon you will all be dead. Along with your entire planet! <laughs> What's wrong, little warrior? Has your incredible power died? Feels like you won there with Dragon Ball. When someone's trying to compel for attack, why does no one just go to keep attacking them? I mean, it happened in the first two spirit bombs Goku used. I can't see you. Are you there? I'm not with you, son. I'm someplace else. But I want you to attack him with the Kamehameha wave. That's the only thing I can think of that will lay him out for sure. But, but Dad, I, I only have the use of one of my arms, and my energy level is less than half. No. You can do it sounds it, like he's whining with, with this voice actor. <laughs> I'll try it. Look inside yourself. It's there you'll find the power you need. You sound pretty reluctant. Yes. Yes! He looks way too giddy for how sophisticated he's sounding. Yo, wait, why is it looking green all of a sudden? This ain't Broly. They don't hold back, because the balls have fixed everything. We're just skipping where everyone else is using their attacks to distract them. Everyone, it's Goku here. King Kai is letting me talk to you from Otherworld right now, so I really don't have that long. You go cook out subtitles. I remember, Bulma told me something a long time ago about how it seemed like I always attract the bad guy. And when you stop and think about it, in a way that's true. I think the world might just be safer without me. So, I know it might be hard on Chi Chi and Gohan, but don't bother wishing me back to life. Don't worry, we'll meet again one day. I'll be waiting for you. Bye! Now, can we play these costumes in the actual game? Okay, this is a really lame credit sequence. Because I really like the original where it was the remix of Chala Hedgehala. Now, when I talk about this game, it's not as good as I first enjoyed it. For a while, I started to dislike it because of how sick I got of it. But overall, for what it is, it's actually pretty decent. Now, when I first played this game, it's about a year and a half after I really got into Dragon Ball Z. Maybe two years. And I actually got this on the GameCube as a late birthday present. Because didn't celebrate my birthday that year because my grandmother had cancer and then about two months later, well, she passed away.
So this game holds some special memories for me because I always remember that about a month after she died, my mom took me to GameStop. So this is about 2003 when GameStop didn't suck. <laughs> And she basically said I could spend a hundred dollars on whatever I wanted. And so I got this, the Fire Emblem on GBA that had just come out. And a couple of N64 games that I'd wanted for a long time. And this is the one that always stuck out to me because... Well, that was pretty much the height of my Dragon Ball fandom. So I took it home, it came with like the preview of 10 fights, that was like 20 minutes long, or maybe it was like 45 minutes long. So I shot DVD, and this was the Sunday, so I spent the whole rest of the day playing through the game in a story mode. Alright, I beat Cell just in time for dinner, and then I started playing all the rest of the game. I played that non-stop. The game's not as good as I remember it, but I still enjoyed it. Alright, enough trips down memory lane. There's a lot more to do in the game, so when we resume, we'll take a more of it. Till then, it's been Jorgas Gaming, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.